Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to this Airflow series. In this video we are going to explore a little bit uh, XCOM and how we can pass uh, data and me actually metadata uh, from one task to another one. So uh, in the last video what we left with was with this DAG which had these two Python operators which defined the two tasks. Uh, which are run this task and run this task too. And it's quite a straightforward DAG, so run this task is executed first and then we have run this task too. Uh, what we want to do right now is we want to try and pass some value from this uh, first uh, task to the second task. And how are we going to do that? We are going to use uh, XCOM. So let's get started. If you uh, recall, we were calling this randomly fail function right here. And we will try and call it again, but this time maybe we will kind of uh, change it a little bit. So I will rename this to uh, push to XCOM. Ooh. And refactor this name. Okay. Um, then after this, what I will actually do is still keep uh, the random value. So I will generate a random value. So random value is equal to this little guy. And we're going to push this to XCOM. How do we do that? Uh, as we have access to the context, all we need to do is do the following. So we will say context access the TI kind of key, which means stands for task instance. And then we're going to call the XCOM push function. This function actually takes a couple of uh, parameters. The first one is the key of the value we want to push, and we're going to say random value. And the second parameter is the actual value. So the value is going to be equal to random value. And basically, this is it. I'm going to leave this print. I am OK just to have some output as well. But overall, this should be it for this function. Now, uh, the second operator kind of wants to receive this value. So, uh, so the second task, how do we do that? Uh, first, you have to ensure that you are providing the context. So the provide context is parameter is set to true. And after you've done this, we're going to go to this function and we're going to call a similar function, which is context ti xcom pull. And here we have to specify the key value of the function we want to pull, uh, which is going to be random value as well, which is basically the same thing. It's here. And maybe we're going to also print it so that in a way we have something to show. So print uh, run actually let's call it the received value and I'm gonna print it here there we go and hi I received the following and this should be it I'm gonna save it and let's go back and see how it looks on airflow so from airflow what we're gonna do is gonna open our DAG and I'm gonna manually trigger it. So triggering the DAG. And here the uh, run of this DAG is being scheduled. I'm gonna see uh, that basically it's the first task run this executed correctly and also the second one executed correctly. So let's go inside uh, by clicking on the task and click on view log. Uh, if you see, uh, it will print uh, I am OK, which is exactly what we printed before in the code. And now you have this interesting tab, which is XCOM. And if you see from XCOM, you can actually see what values were sent uh, to XCOM from within this task instance. And you can see that the key is random value and the value itself is uh, 0.35, which is just a random value that we generated within the code. Now, what we do expect is that if we go back to the uh, graph view and we see the second task, we expect, and as you can see, 
uh, it is working that this task actually received that value and it printed it correctly. So uh, this is basically how you deal with the XCOM sending and receiving. Uh, I will show you once more just to be sure. It's fairly straightforward. So first operator, you have a Python callable. This Python callable uh, kind of accesses the context uh, TI key from the context dict uh, dictionary. We're going to call the XCOM push kind of uh, uh, function with the key of random value and the value that you want. And from the other function, so from the second Python operator, second, which is going to kind of create this task, you're going to provide the context once again and pull the same uh, key. And this is basically it. Quite straightforward. Uh, just remember to actually use XCOM to send over not huge amount of data. Uh, it is not supposed to send, uh, for example, a five gigabytes file from one operator to another, uh, but it's perfect to exchange metadata from one operator to another and hence from one task to another. Thanks for watching.